What's up, Passive Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. Ooh, cha, I am thoroughly exhausted. It is 6 12. Um, the day is over for school, but I still have a ton to do. So I'll probably work to maybe 8 o'clock at night, but I wanted to drop in and show you the garage is it is what it is <laughs> so i'm in my laundry room that, right now and this this is what i came up with the laundry room before i go further into this video make sure you get this video a thumbs up like comment share subscribe it does not cost you a thing and make sure you hit your post notifications so you know the next time i upload a video okay so quiet, 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 quiet. so this is what i have for the laundry room it is what it is it needs a good scrubbing um, it still needs that. I still need to wash my clothes, so my um, laundry basket is in here. But this is what we have so far. Got the washer and dryer, got baskets. Connie Chow sent us, I don't know if this was Connie Chow, but she sent us a whole bunch of laundry stuff, these baskets. I got these from Walmart. Um, look at my nails. I had snack last night. I bit them all off last night. Well, I chewed the polish off last night. <laughs> so, um, this is laundry stuff. This is hand towels and things to dry your hands. Bobby painted that a while ago. My little apron if I need it. This is a jail picture of my mom. It was painted um, when my dad was in prison. So, it's super, super old. It's older than me. <laughs> Another basket, that basket has some hand cleaning white cloths, um, laundry. This right here comes from, um, someone made that for me. Really, really sweet man. Very, very talented and means a lot. And laundry stuff from Connie Chow. This picture was drawn by Bobby in the sixth grade and she won first or second place in the competition. So it was good. And this, I don't know, I think I got that from the thrift store and I just fell in love with it. And this, I was going to throw in the trash. But we mo removed the drawer. And I put this here just in case you want to fold towels or whatever. And we can use that here. And this is another picture. I need something for over here. My laundry basket closet. So this is my little laundry room. And now... We're going into the garage. Um, I'm going to see if I could put in a before picture of the garage. And <laughs> for those of you who don't remember, it was really, really bad. So um, laundry room I did by myself. Garage I did by myself. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. garage <laughs> so I created a workstation for myself in the garage turn the light on it's gonna bring the bugs but I've sprayed I have that I have my citronella candles burning so here we go welcome to the garage so I got all of this set up I hung that this is all the Christmas stuff all of this is Christmas so as I was thinking about all this stuff I was like when I'm ready to go, I can just take these bins and donate the bins. Um, I don't think there are two, there's a few personalized Christmas items in there. If the kids want to take them, fine. But all these bins can be just easily dropped off at a donation center. So that's good. Um, this is classroom stuff. I got my school stuff. I have everything labeled. I will have to get some things out of my school. So these bins are empty. Um, so this is school. This is for my business. I still need to go to that. But all of this is school stuff. I acquired this. That's a story about that. This is my little work area. I sit out here and do my work. Because I was out here earlier working. Connie Child sent us some masks. 
So sometimes if we run now, I'll just grab the mask or I'll sit there. Um, so I sprayed in here. That's some spray. Spray inside. I got my citronella candle going there. Candle going there. Um, my mosquito spray right there. And this is all stuff that I had. Bobby painted this one, I think, sixth grade as well. And I, I just can't throw it away, so I hung it here. This I had from my company. This is my favorite book ever, where I love to learn new words, and I've had it for years and years. And as I was cleaning, I actually have two of those books. I just love them. And as I was cleaning, I found it. And Pac-Man is my favorite game. I love Pac-Man. I would like a life size, but with my life goals, I found the remote control for the fan. So I keep the remote here. And this is just my little buddy. I have little eclectic silly pieces throughout the house. And this um, cards and stuff, if I wanna write cards as I'm sitting out here, I can. Guys, it is so, it is so peaceful when I'm sitting out here, it's just, it's just wonderful. Bobby was like, you know you were out there for four hours today. <laughs> this was uh, yesterday. I was like, it was just, it's just peaceful. And so I'm gonna walk you over to my next area. So I'll show you the area, the right side that I've done already and show you. See, so I have everything labeled over there. And then we come over here. We have one of the trash can. This is donation that's all donation the girls uh, go bike riding this is all specific things this box down here in that personal box is things that I've saved for the kids um, throughout the years things that they've drawn or letters that they wrote me stuff like that so I did tell Bobby if anything happens to me just make sure she takes the personal box. It's just like sentimental things that no one would appreciate besides me or the kids. Probably not even the kids, but me. So I just said make sure she, um, you know, out of all the stuff, just get the personal box. So maybe she'll treasure that. And um, craft paper, we have tons of craft paper. Bobby didn't want to get rid of that. Miscellaneous, child, don't ask me what's in there ribbon we were looking for this ribbon this is binder stuff when bobby does papers or sydney writes a paper in college they can bind it very nicely this is um boxes that i have from my company um gable boxes and white boxes and a on um die cutting machine spell i think it's called spell binder or whatever this is a sewing machine for my mom and my friend and she gave me this so I have it, I usually have it in classroom if I want tea or something like that. It boils the water very quickly. And this is uh, more craft stuff. Craft, this is craft stuff. These are books that I could not give away. These are books that I had when the kids were younger. I used to read these books to them. Um, I mean, some of them are just really good books. And I thought about doing voiceovers for those books. Um, just some really cute books. So this is all crafts right here. This is my teacher bag. I got tied up. I did attempt to do Tupperware again and I never opened this box. <laughs> um, my air fryer and um, Instapot. So then we have the shelving so I did the best I could with the shelving and we only have it tied back so you guys can see what I did <laughs> so all of this stuff right here is uh, we have our games up top we have all our games I had the shelving at my last house and so when we moved I just brought it over here so these are curtains and I just stuck everything out with velcro with velcro squares Hi, Bobby. And this is um, our craft bin. We haven't labeled them yet. Like it has like um, our shape cutting. And this is um, this machine right here binds. You can make books, little books, more uh, shape cut cutting. 
um, ribbon and stuff like that. So it's all the craft stuff. We still need to organize it and label each bin. Um, craft stuff, more craft stuff, games, my my um, deep fryer, some Legos I, that I can't bear to give away. <laughs> I will. So now here we come to all of the food. This shelf, this shelf, teas and coffee and chips and vitamins and noodles and all kinds of things. Let me tell you, child, these noodles right here, Hunty, these noodles are good. And honey, all this stuff is Connie Chow. I'm like, Connie, we don't have any more room. <laughs> so I had to make shelving in a garage um, for all the food and stuff she had sent us. And this is all pasta that she sent. So this is whew, food. So these two shelves and some on the bottom shelf, there's food, there's stuff behind there. This is my backdrop that I eventually took down because the, the house is a mess. Um, more cleaning stuff. I'll go ahead and put this out inside the laundry room. This is quinoa. Very, very good, delicious quinoa. She keeps me uh, stocked with adult vitamins. So I'm finishing up my other vitamins, crackers, um, cornbread. And of course, I have some of my papers from when I wrote when I was in college. I went and read some of those to the kids the other day. And oh yeah, Bobby painted this one too. She painted that one. Um, I'm not sure what grade she was in, maybe seventh grade. So, and this is how we looking. So that is my little garage makeover. It was a lot of work. It took me several days to finish. No, I did not get any help. Um, Bobby did tie back the curtains. She did tie back the curtains. I found some string. I said I had no more energy to get this box, this bin right here that says ribbon. I said, I said, I can't. I can't lift anything else. I said, I just can't. I, I think the kids don't view me as an old lady. My kids view me as Wonder Woman. That's how they view me. <laughs> and they don't realize that I'm old as hell. <laughs> but they don't view me as an old lady. <laughs> and that I do get tired sometimes and I'm not as strong as I used to be. But I didn't really, I also didn't want to deal with any attitudes anyway. And like I said, most of the stuff, it, it, it is mine. Most of the stuff is mine. So I do have a plan. Uh, we have a plan for Bobby when she goes to college to make money by binding student papers and you know, putting it together and doing cool cover sheets. So we have a plan for the binders. And she used to take them with her to college. So we have a plan for that. I said, like, gotta make your coin. Everybody wants a cool looking cover page and they want their stuff bound and really looking nice. So we do have a plan for her. So I do know where that stuff is going. I know someone else mentioned about um, wanting to get one of my sewing machines. We have three sewing machines. One belongs to my mom, so. And, it, and it's not that great. So one belongs to Bobby, one belongs to Sydney and Sydney. She be acting like she can't do nothing. <laughs> so, um, so that's it for my garage makeover. So give this video a thumbs up if you like what I've done to the garage. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. I love sitting out here. The owners came and fixed one of the garage doors for me. They still have another door to figure out what's wrong with it. Um, if I'm in my car, I can press the button and the garage door will go up, but the garage door will not go down. I have to come inside and hold the button for the garage door to go down, and I can't let go of the button. 
he tried, I tried, he had someone else who was very handy try, so now we're just gonna, he's just gonna call the, um, the garage company um, who, who installed the doors. But outside of that, I love sitting out here. It's so peaceful. I may even burn me some um, sage and just sit out here, um, do some more grades and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna sit out here probably until, I'll give myself an hour, do some more grades and stuff and call it a day. I gotta do something with this hair, child. <laughs> Look, I'm always doing something with this hair. I'm just gonna rebraid the front. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i love you um tell me what you think about the garage um what was it? it was a lot of work but it was i think it was worth it so what i do like i said before i close these out but it looks kind of cool open like that too but i i just i just closed it but i wanted you guys to see you know what we have behind kirk number two <laughs> Alright guys, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit your post notifications. Alright, until next time, later!